This is how you can make models using your discord.js bot. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to community and we're just gonna create model js keep in mind i am using the slash command package if you'd like to get this handler you can uh, watch the video in the description below and uh, go ahead and get that otherwise just use your own handler and this will work perfectly fine so what we can do is we can actually start by making the model um, and then we can actually handle the model within our index.js folder we're going to start by doing const slash command builder equals require and here we can do at discord js slash builders and we can do const and we can do model builder action row builder text input builder text input style then we can do equals require and then discord.js just like that then we can do module.exports equals we can open this up data new slash command builder we can do dot set name we will say model we can do dot set description and we can say this is a model just like that we can add a comma here we can do async execute and then we can do interaction we can open this up and we can actually go ahead and create our new model so we can do const model equals new model builder just like that we can do set title and we'll just say test model something like that that'll be easy to see we can do dot set custom id and we can say model and then we could go down here and we can do const. This will be our first text input. So we can do anything you want. Let's just say um, name equals new text input builder. We'll do not set custom ID in here. We can say name. Then we'll go down here and we can do dot set required. And you can either make this true or false. So this is going to be like in the model, um, it will have a star next to it. So you either have to submit this question or you don't. So you can either do true or false pretty much. So I'm just going to do true. We'll change this later so I can show you guys what I mean by that. And we can do that set label and we'll say um, provide us with your name or something like that. And then we can do dot set style. Uh, we'll do text input style dot short because it's a short response. Um, and then we can add a semicolon here. We can actually go ahead and copy this and we can paste it and we can say um, about or something like that. And we can say the custom ID will be about and we'll make this true as well. And in here we can say provide us with a short essay about you or something like that. And then we can say text input style. We can do paragraph just like that. Um, and then we can go down here. We can do const first action row equals new action row builder we can do dot add components in here we can just say our name because that's the first uh, text input we did up there then we can go ahead and copy this and paste it down here and we can say second action row and then in here we can do uh, about or something like that then we can come down here and we can do model dot add components and we can say uh, first action row comma second action row then we can actually show the model so we can do interaction dot show model and we can say our model just like that and that's all we have to do in here um, so I'm going to show you what this looks like for now so we can go ahead and restart the bot so over in our test server what we can just do is we can run our model command just like this and as you can see it's going to bring up our model we have our test model as a title, um, we have the name section, and we have the essay section. So as you can see, this is a paragraph, and this is just a short answer. So before, um, when I was saying dot .set required uh, to true, as you can see in the Discord server, that little star means you have to submit it. So if you try to submit it without submitting a response, it's not going to let you, as you can see here. Um, or if I put it in here. Um, it's not going to let you submit it until you submit both of the responses. So if you want to change that, you can actually go into the code and you can say dot set required. You can make it false um, and then restart the bot and try it again. So if we run our model command one more time, as you can see, there's no longer a star there. So if we just provide an essay and we click submit, obviously it's not going to work because we haven't set up a handler, but it's not going to catch you and uh, tell you to provide your name or something like that. Back in the code, I'm actually going to set this back to true just so that we have it for later. Um, and then we can go ahead and go into our index.js file. Over in the index.js file, what we can do is we can come down here in the bottom. We can do client.on. We can do events uh, dot interaction create comma async interaction arrow function and open this up. So what you might need to do is you might need to go to your client constructor or your constructor up here and just do comma events just like that. 
um, and then that will turn green and that will turn dark blue and it will work perfectly fine. So in here, we're actually going to write a few if statements. So we can do if exclamation mark interaction dot is model submit, um, and then we can just return. So what that's saying is um, if it's picking up an interaction that is not a model, uh, it's just going to return and do nothing. So then we can do if interaction dot custom ID equals 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 model because in our uh, model dot js file right here, as you can see, our models custom ID is model. So back in the index dot js, we can actually open this up and we can go ahead and say await interaction dot reply content. In here we can say something like your model has been submitted. If this is something like a staff application, you could say your staff application has been submitted, something like that. But then we can do comma E P H E M E R A L and do true. Then we're gonna go ahead and go out of this if statement still in the client.on um, and we can do const uh, we'll do name equals interaction dot fields dot get text input value and then we can do name. Um, because the first text input value, as you can see here, was the name, that's the custom ID, and then the second one was about. So we can go back into index.js, and we can do the same thing uh, for about. So we can do const about equals interaction dot field dot get text input value, and we can do about just like that. We can add a semicolon there. So now we can actually go ahead and log this info to the console. So we can do console.log. Um, in here we can just say like name and then we can pass in our name and then we can do about the person or something like that. And then we can just pass in the about um, variable right there. Um, and then after we've done that, we can go ahead and restart the bot and actually submit a model and test it out. Over in the Discord server, we can do slash model. It's going to go ahead and open up the model and we can provide our names. We can do me. And then we can just say, I am a YouTuber, you should subscribe, or something like that. And we can go ahead and click submit. It's going to say your model has been submitted. Over in the console, we can say it says name, and that's what we submitted as a name. And as you can see, it says about the person. It says, I'm a YouTuber, you should subscribe, um, just like as we submitted in the model. You could do a lot with models. You could send this to the channel. Um, you could provide even more text inputs in the model here and get like a full staff application. Or even if you wanted to just get the actual user ID or something out of the interaction, you do something like const member equals interaction dot user dot ID. And then you could also get their tag by doing const tag equals interaction dot user dot tag or something like that. And then you could go ahead and put it in the console as well. So you could do something like submission info or something like that. Then you could go ahead and pass in the member and you could also pass in the tag right here. So what that would look like if we did model again here, we just submitted something like this, um, me and then blah, 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 just like that. It's gonna go ahead and say your model has been submitted. If we go back into the code, as you can see right here, um, it's gonna give me the user ID and my tag, and then it's gonna give me all the submission info that I put in the model. So that is how you can code a model for your discord.js bot. Uh, if you need any help with this, go ahead and join the help server in the description below, and we'll be happy to help you. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.